Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Flashback Fridays. Today I will be starting one of the greatest games of PlayStation 1, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So yeah, let's start it and uh, see how we go. But we've got to watch out for PS1 Hagrid. What? Wow. These graphics, man. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid well, took I mean, Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase I a think everybody knows list of school supplies. The main story so of Harry after, Potter. Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! I mean, you know. You don't get to play anything in Diagon Alley in this, as far as I'm aware. That's an exceptional beard that uh, Dumbledore has Welcome there. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death lovely well you know that would be uh fluffy then wouldn't it gryffindor tower i assume that we're going to have to go to our dormitory first what's down here ah okay there we go password Caput Draconis. Oh, he already knows. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog. It will give you back some energy. Oh, thanks, mate. When you drink a Wigan Wild potion, it replenishes all you have. Remarkable, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm assuming I've got to go now. So... <sighs> I'm pretty sure it's a British stereotype that if you are British... You like Harry Potter, and uh, you'd be damn right, because everybody I loves Harry Potter. Scar. You must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But yeah. of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. Oh, being cheers, in boys. common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. Oh, I've already been see in you there. Around, Harry. Yeah, see you, Fred. Ooh, okay. Secret secret passage. Wasn't expecting that. I was just trying to jump up on top of it. Merlin. I don't need to don't need to see Merlin in me uh in me book. Okay, Charms Corridor. Does that mean I've got to go into... It's a ghost. Ooh. Hey, Harry! Remember me? Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin Draco Malfoy? 
ran through this door with an owl under his arm. Did I think he? it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Oh, you're always one for getting us into trouble, Ron. Jesus. Come on, oh Harry. dear, Let's it's locked the door. Well, 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 if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Jesus, he you looks ill. That owl of yours. How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? Oh, what a prick. Follow me. Okay. Mm. <laughs> to jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. Okay. What's this feather, anyway? Let's do it, Ron. Let's go. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You'd better go on and rescue Hedwig. Ah, it's mm. Hedwig's feathers. Okay, that makes more sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but you know, like, I guess they have to give you some sort of chance to get there. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. <laughs> God, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. What? If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Okay. Right. Ah, some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Sweet. Press the cross button to cast the flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. Hope my snail trail isn't uh, poisonous like that. I wonder if we can just. Oh, he's dead. Good. There we go. Gotcha. Last feather. Hopefully. Go again. Okay, so that's in place. Apparently hitting the rat gave me 10 points as well. Who that? It's in place. Last feather. Love to see it. Use door. Surely that means that I've got Hedwig back now, right? I'm never long bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Of course now he I'm did. Trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. I bet you can't remember what it is either, can you? Flying. All right. Damn. Flipendo! Yeah, that's what I thought. The lever is around here somewhere. There, I found it. Oh, good. We'll follow Neville. Hedwig. Wow. Those graphics. You challenged me to a fight, Neville. A charge for a pendo not breaking might free Hedwig from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. It's X, god damn it. There we go. Yeah. Now she looks more like an owl. Would you like your feathers back? At least it's a way out, eh? <laughs> Just walked off. I rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come oh, on, you've Harry, definitely lost go. your toad, Trevor. Come on, let's face it. It's not, I think. It, it's a definite. What do we have here? A broomstick. Is that, is that the Nimbus 2000 already? Brought you a broom 
broomstick. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Okay, let's go, Ron. Flying lessons are where it's at. That's what we want. Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch Jesus. yourself, Harry. I hear Madame Hooch is really strict. I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid hour is ancient. It's going to take forever. I'll wait for you here. Oh, thanks, mate. I am Madame right. Hooch, your teacher. There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Steer your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle, then. I was trying to figure out what I needed to do. Come on! We got this. We've done it. Excellent technique. Ten house points for getting them all. Thank you. Test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three. Two, one. I do believe you may have a no. natural talent for this. Ready for a tougher challenge? There are bonus house points for a perfect score. As before, fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. On my okay. whistle. Three, two, one. Well done, Potter. A good score. Well, I mean, Five you know, house points for Gryffindor. It will do. Mastered the basics of broomstick control. Oh, now sweet. Run along. I will. That was terrible. <sighs> Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all and a teacher's pet. No, I am not. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Charms class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? It She's is. She's rather annoying, isn't she? Do we have to watch her run the whole way? Yes, yes we do. It's up there, okay. I get it. Oh no! I forgot in my spell book. I'll oh, catch you, you up, Harry. You pillock, Ron, come on. First day, man, and he's forgotten his spell book already. Can't do charms, sorry, can't do flying lesson because he's not got a broomstick. Can't do charms because he's forgotten his spell book. What a... What a wally. Get to the charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Right. Jesus, dude. All right. <laughs> of course, there's multiple rooms. How could I be so... Uh, be so stupid as to think that there's only one? You must be Harry Potter. Welcome to charms class. You're just in time. Welcome, young wizard. I am he literally Professor looks like Flitwick, just a, and today you will learn the spell a tiny Guardian version of Dumbledore. Leviosa. Watch my one move and press the symbol button it points to. Okay. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Perfect. Gotcha. Superb. Keep up now. It's going to get harder. Okay. But Perfect. I mean, his wand wasn't moving at all. I just had to well follow the dot. Done. You've mastered Wingardium Leviosa. Well, Potter, awesome. Ranger and Weasley, follow me to see the Wingardium Leviosa spell put into practice. You've just asked for us three to join you in the back room, eh? Now, listen carefully. An object that can be charmed will be marked with a yellow sparkle. A charmed object can be levitated. Keep the cross button depressed if you want to change the object height. X to levitate. Guardian Leviosa. Oh God. All right, Harry, mate. Levitate, levitate, drop. Well done. Bang. Five points to Gryffindor. Well, let's go then. Let's let's go into another room where I have to go by myself. Nope. It's not a challenge room, so that's good. 
Dear Harry, please meet me in the castle grounds. You can get to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Oh, Pop good. around for a cup of tea and a chat. I have something important to tell you. Your friend, Hagrid. Thanks, Hagrid. My friend. Okay, so that is where we're going to leave this episode of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as a part of my Flashback Friday series, then please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.